So today on Center Hacks, we're going to talk about one of the most complicated power plans and treatment regimes there is out there in my opinion, and that's the Medical Infusion Clinic IVIG Outpatient Infusion Orders. So stay tuned. Welcome to this special edition of Cerner Hacks. So as a hospitalist, I rarely do outpatient orders, but I was invited to help train some of the physicians doing the outpatient medical infusion clinic power plans. And as a part of it is the IVIG power plan. And I felt I needed to do this because it's so confusing and non-intuitive. So we're gonna take a go at this. So we'll go into the ad area of our Cerner screen. So currently we're in a play environment, so this is not the actual list of orders that you'll see. You'll be seeing something more like this, uh, which you can see my search term is transfusion medicine, IVIG ambulatory. From this list, you're going to choose the maintenance schedule or treatment program that most closely matches what you're needing to do. If there are ones that you'd like to build or specify you can go to the IVIG non-listed indication but I would suggest picking one that's closest even if you're not a neurologist and this is for a non-neurological problem then I would still pick this one and there's lots of room to modify your order so again if you don't see your specific indication here choose the one that closely matches so we're going back to our center practice environment and the other thing to notice that there are pediatric ambulatory IVIG modules that start with PED, PED. So don't choose that one, obviously, if they're not doing a pediatric one. We're looking for the transfusion medicine adult one. If it doesn't specify pediatrics, then it is an adult power plan. So notice here, the power plans are just a one-time day of treatments, or it can be multiple cycles. And the more complex ones which are the treatment regimes so this one will contain a power plan over two days every three weeks so that's the difference here between a power plan and a treatment regime a treatment regime is much more complex it encompasses multiple power plans if that makes sense so we're going to go back to our play environment and we're going to pick the most complicated one which is a non-specific ambulatory IVIG non-listed indication. Again, I would again choose the one that closely matches this. This is the worst case scenario if none of the treatment regimes match it, but we're gonna go through this one for purposes of the worst case scenario. Let's pick this one. Here's the estimated start date. You don't have to know exactly when. You can put today's date if you want it as ASAP for purposes of Cerner launch. Um, when you do chart cutover, you may have a time for the patient already uh, set, let's say for um, the 11th of November. And again, you don't have to know the exact time and date, but on cutover, you may actually have the patient that's already booked for that specific time on November 11th. So this is an estimated start time and the booking clerk will set that schedule up. I notice that there's two separate treatment programs here, the initial treatment and the maintenance. Sometimes they are different, uh, as you probably know. Um, I don't do this all the time, so I assume that the orders for day of treatment or the initial treatment is sometimes different than the maintenance treatment. Then we click start, and here's where you put the actual date if you know it. If you don't, again, leave it blank. Uh, estimated start time, 11th November, and let's say the patient was pre-booked in during cutover and you know that the patient has a 7.30 appointment, here's where you put it. So initial treatment. So the initial treatment has multiple days. So as you know, IVIG could be given over day one, day two, day three, and day four, and possibly into day five here. So you can see at the very top here is a day one to day five initial treatment program. If this is only a two day treatment program, you can go into here and deselect do not order day three, do not order day four, and do not order day five, okay? And so that's your initial treatment. For scheduling, you can leave that alone. Okay, we click OK, and here's your day one of treatment, day two. If you had a five-day cycle, you'd see day three, day four, and day five down here, and you would read through anything that's in yellow as a note to you. Here's the IV dosing information. So depending on how you came up with your treatment dosing, you would pick the one that's most appropriate. Down here is where you put in your order for IVIG. 
So we either double click that or we can right click and modify. It'll pull in a bottom window here and you can expand that if you like. Dose, 20 grams, root of emissions, IV. A lot of the protocols will have a protocol already, so refer to the IVIG rate chart. If there are specific infusion instructions that you want, you want to specify in order comments, and you can put it into here. Let's say if you want to infuse over three hours, if tolerated by patient. Okay, and then we go back into order details, um, and your indication would go right here. Uh, there's a bunch of pre-selected ones. If you find one that's not, uh, indicated here. I would probably put into indication comments here for for autoimmune encephalitis. Here would be any instructions to the lab in case if you want a specific type of IPIG. Say you want gamma guard only please. So if there's any specific instructions to a nurse you can put it into here. So let's scroll down to the orders here. We will minimize this window so we can see more of it. Here's some standard pre PRN medications and we'll select the ones that are appropriate. And then the medications, if you want to give pre-dosing medications for, let's say, Benadryl, for example, that can be ordered here. And here is where you can check day one and day two. Whatever happens in day one will automatically go into day two. So for example, the Benadryl that we ordered is both planned for day one and day two, uh, the dose adjusted the weight. If you ever want to um, add it to the second one to say that you've checked it, you just go into this plus symbol and it goes to plan both sides okay so make sure you review both days before you place the order if there's anything that you want to add to this component you can go to add a phase add an order let's say if you want the nurses to call you if there's a problem communication order is the best thing to do so communication order will put a note to the nose nurses they'll ask you which day you want uh, this communication to order be placed we'll select both day one and day two and we can select a box above it and that checks both boxes and go okay so we're done with this one okay so we place this order here and when we click the order to signature then we see all the scheduled transfusion dates day one day two and the communication order that you just placed here is in here as well double check everything here and we'll sign off so sometimes you will be seeing a blank screen after this where it went is in the view area so click that so you'll see it's processing when we go to refresh up here it now shows you your parent order which is the IVIG and then this is the power plan underneath it which is the day one day two of the initial treatment so that was the initial cycle treatment so let's say if uh, you're done the initial treatment now we're on to maintenance and to activate this we click start this will be cycle number one because the last one was initial induction phase. Uh, outpatient treatment start date. Again, you would put in your date that you want, so let's say monthly. This is where it's important in the very beginning to pick the treatment course that most closely uh, replicates what you're going to do. Then you can avoid doing this. You have to calculate when you want the next one. So if there are specific instances where you want something other than every three weeks or four weeks, I, I noticed there was one patient that had every two and a half weeks. This is where you can specify the exact every two and a half week cycle. So when we open this, you see a day one, day two, day three uh, for maintenance. And let's say you don't want to order day three and you don't want to order day two and you only want to order a day one. Here's where you do it for your maintenance. Okay, we'll put in adjusted for body weight. Our dosing here will be for 20 indications um, other. And then here's where you specify. Minimize this window, go through all your PRNs. You want this one, this one, this one, and this one. And we will go to order. You won't have to do this, luckily, for every single cycle because you can repeat them. So let's sign off on this one. And again, we're going to the view section, open it up and refresh and we'll see cycle number one done. Okay, going back to the parent module here. And now we're done cycle one. So now what we want to do, we want to either repeat the cycle, the initial induction phase, as well as the cycle, then we can put repeat if we want to extend, so here we want in cycle two, number of occurrences, let's say we have three cycles of the day of treatment, 
not the initial treatment, but the main endless ones. So click OK. And here we have now cycle one, two, three, and four. That's three more cycles on top. So we will start the next cycle. And this becomes a lot easier now. Cycle two, we will say December 22nd, transfusion day one. Remember we had day one, day two, day three before, and now it knows that we're just doing day one. Click OK. And now you don't have to do anything any further because it has copied over your last maintenance schedule and we can just click over for signature if we're okay with that. We'll sign off on this. And now we do the same for the rest of the cycles, okay? So we go up to here, we refresh. It'll ask us now for cycle three. We start this, and you'll start to see that this becomes a lot faster. So now we're in cycle three. We want to select our date. Now we're into January, let's say. Okay. We'll just for signature once you're okay with that. We're going to refresh. Now we're into cycle day three. Go back to your master list here. And now we're going to finish up our fourth cycle start. And then we're into February here. Okay, click OK. And again, those estimated start dates are suggested start dates. So your unit clerk will book around that time. Click off sign and we will refresh. Okay, so we go back up to your IBIG. Now you've completed cycle one, two, three, and four. You can choose to extend your cycles longer. So be it cycle five, you got cycle six or six, cycle seven, or you can repeat the cycles. So after you, the induction phase in cycle one, two, three, four, you can start back on the initial treatment cycle one, two, three, four at a later date if you want. So that's how you place the order. Hopefully that helps. It's very long and complicated. I apologize for the length of this video, but it is quite a detailed and complicated power plan one of the most difficult in Cerner. But congratulations, you have done it.